Hi guys, welcome back to Beautiful Truth. So for today's video, I am coming to you with my June favourites. It's been quite a while, I'm going to say probably March sometime, since I recorded a favourites video. But now I'm really, really trying my best to get into a little bit more of a routine when it comes to YouTube. Because, do you know what? I've kind of begun to enjoy it a little bit. It has its ups and downs, believe me. But I'm hoping to get a little bit more regular because you guys seem to be responding pretty well to it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and do you know what, instead of me just waffling like I am kind of prone to do, if you follow me on Snapchat you will know I am the biggest waffler going, but I am going to get right into it and I'm going to show you exactly what I have in my June favourites and what I have really been loving this month. So my first product up is one that I've absolutely adored this month like I cannot stop raving about it every time I open it in the morning I'm like hello my beauties and that is the Makeup Forever Artist eyeshadows holy mother of sweet divine Jesus in his cradle look at them they are heaven on earth these colors are just me and more in a pan I am somebody who likes really really warm toned eyeshadows and these are just so warm and yummy on the eyes it is unreal. I have got a few of them on today. If you can see here, I have the one on the lid. Is this one here? I think this is called Crystalline something or other. I will put um the names down here because I actually just can't remember them. This one here, I have kind of defined out my crease a little bit, and this one here is actually in the crease, and I have a little bit of orange on it as well. But they are so so easy to work with they are beyond pigmented like you only need to touch your brush off them and you've got so much pigment and they just when they go on the eye they just do what you want them to do i am somebody who likes spending time on my makeup when i have time but in the morning i'm like getting out that door quick because i've already overslept by about 10 minutes because i am one lazy cow in the morning and when i use these they are just so quick to use that you don't have to do a huge amount of work to blend so there is one small downside to these shadows and that is that they are a little bit on the expensive side. The way it works is you buy the empty palette itself and the empty palette is 15 euro to buy. And as you can see here, it's magnetized. You then buy each individual shadow and each individual shadow is 15 euro. Now, before you die of shock, 15 euro Sinead, have you lost the plot for an eyeshadow? An empty MAC eyeshadow is $12.50 and it is considerably smaller in size than this. Like you're getting an awful lot more product for this. And I think, um, not an empty MAC shadow, what am I talking about? And a MAC eyeshadow pan is $12.50. And then I think if you buy them in the actual containers, they're $16.50. Now if you are somebody who is into makeup, stop buying your eyeshadow in the container. Buy an empty palette that's magnetized and buy the little small ones. As I said, they're $12.50 and these are $15. And then what I do is every paycheck I buy one or two eyeshadows and you're slowly but surely building up your collection. That is the best way to do it. You're also getting to pick the eyeshadows you want because while palettes are great, like pre-made palettes, I don't think you can beat a, a palette that you make yourself. But I cannot say enough good things about these. They are just unbelievable, like unbelievable. Next one up is one of you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. I have adored this month like I have just adored it and that is the Becker Shimmering Skin Perfector pressed in the colour Moonstone oh I mean like look at it I mean look it is so beautiful it is unbelievably pigmented I don't know if it's going to pick it up there I have it on today I'm not too sure if the camera can see it but it's so pigmented, it is so gorgeous, it is just so glowy, you're like, oh, caught it on camera, can you see it there? I'm seeing it in the viewfinder, I hope you have, by the way, this is my bad side. Yeah, everybody thinks I'm cracked, but I um, got an engagement photograph done recently, and I was like, oh my god, he shot me from my bad side. And himself was like, would you shut up, what are you talking about? I was like, I have a bad side, and then I said the same to my bridesmaid, and she was like, shut up, and I went, wait, watch. Good side. Bad side. It's like my nose just grows five inches when I go to this side. Like, horrendous. I emailed, after my engagement shoot, I emailed my um, photographer and I was like, Greg, you need to shoot me from this side. I then told himself, I need to stand on this side when we're kind of saying our vows, so I'm getting shot from this way. And he looks at me and he's like, you are cracked. 
Like, what is wrong with you? But, like, I do have a bad side. Like, look. Good side. Bad side. Horrendous. Any photographs I ever put up will never be from this side. Like, look, Pinocchio knows when I go this way. Anyway. um, This is just so, so gorgeous. Now, it's expensive. I think it's about 38 euro. But I've had this... I probably had it 18 months now. If not, I definitely had it a year, if not 18 months. It is so gorgeous. If you are a fan of highlighters, you will love this because it's creamy, pigmented, and you get serious highlighter on fleek when you wear this. So I'll keep with the makeup, and the next one I'm gonna talk about is the MAC Prolong Wear Waterproof Nourishing Foundation. It's what I'm wearing today. I'm hoping the camera is actually picking it up well. But this is such a beautiful, beautiful long wearing foundation. It is a medium to full coverage foundation that is said to be phenomenally long wearing. But here's the thing, what skin type does it actually suit? Because that is like the million and one dollar question. First off, if you have oily skin, this is not going to be for you. When I first read about it, I read it was for every skin type. And then I put up on the blog, oh, this is wonderful for everybody. It's so phenomenal. And a few of you came back and said, Sinead, I bought that. I have oily skin. It's off my face in no time. If you have oily skin, it's not for you. If you have very, very dry skin, it's also not going to be for you either because it will cling to patches. Now, I know it says nourishing, but the reason I say that is I had a bit of an allergic reaction to a product. I'm not too sure what it is. I'm still trying to weed out what it was, but I started getting really, really dry patches around here. And when I did, this kind of clung to it. So I'm going to say that this is for somebody that is slightly dry, teeny bit oily, or normal. In fact, it's probably for when you're having good skin days. But if it is something that suits your skin, it is so beautiful. It is like, it leaves the skin really, really, really flawless. And it lasts, like it genuinely lasts. It doesn't wear down at all whatsoever. I mean, the tiniest bit here, but I mean, minimal, minimal. It is, again, it's expensive. I think, again, it's about 38 euro. And you do get less product. Like, you're only getting 25 ml of product, but normally you'll get 30. But you also only need a tiny amount of it. This needs to be buffed into your skin. Like, I mean, seriously buffed in. You need something like a kabuki brush to really, really, really work it into the skin. Because if you work it into skin, it will last. If you don't, it will wear off. You don't need a powder with this, unless I do tend to put a tiny bit here, just because I do get a little bit shiny need to write today there but I love this it's really 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 good is it holy grail I don't know I had thought at the beginning that this is going to be the ultimate but I just kind of go in and out of loving it so I'm going to keep it MAC and I'm going to talk about my new obsession and that is MAC lip liners I am obsessed I only own three and I have edge to edge which is a pinky um one they need to be paired that's edge to edge I wear that with Cream Cup, Brave, Faux. In fact, you can wear it with quite a bit because it's quite a, one of those kind of neutrally pinks. I have, uh, what's this, Spice. And Spice is a brownie kind of toned one. And I wear this with Velvet Teddy, Viva Glam 2, and a few kind of more brownie toned lipsticks. And finally, this is the one I've worn non-stop this month. And that is sore, and it's kind of somewhere in between the brown and the pink. So I'm going to say this is more of a mauvey pink. And again, I wear this with Cream Cup, Faux, Brave. What else do I wear? Would I have it? I have it on today. I have sore lining my lips. I have Cream Cup on, and then I have ample pink lip gloss, which you can see here. And this is the one that I'm wearing on my wedding day. In fact, I think I'm either going to wear faux underneath or cream cup. I haven't fully decided yet. You would think I would considering the wedding is in like five days. I am, do you know what? I am actually the worst person to get my makeup done. I am so picky. Why? Only because I don't feel as confident doing my eye makeup as other people can do it for me. I would have done my own makeup. I would have. I actually would have because I'm such a nightmare. Anyway, these lip liners are really, really creamy pigmented and they do last really well i think they're 1950 each so they are expensive but the length of them they last for ages and again no more with the eyeshadows i buy something like well i haven't really been buying lately but i do buy like something once a month or something once every two weeks and it depends i kind of go in and out of i'm buying an eyeshadow or a lip product or a mascara or, although i've got five million mascaras in the drawer i do spread out what i'm buying i don't go in all at once but these are well worth it 
Okay, I'll move away from makeup for a minute and I'll talk about something that's really, really, really random and that is a body wash and it is the Dove Deeply Nourishing Body Wash. This is actually just about empty because I've loved this. I got sent this and I was like, how am I going to blog about a body wash? And then I was using it and I was like, people need to know about this. This is so gorgeous on your skin. It is really, really creamy and luxurious. I have two um, shower gels on the go at the moment. I have a molten brown one, which is beautiful. And then I have this one. And I actually prefer this one because it is so creamy on the skin and it really does make your skin feel that little bit more kind of moisturized and nourished. And it's next to nothing, like it's a few euro. So when you're doing your shopping, throw this in the basket because I have to say it is well worth it. I will be repurchasing again. In fact, I'm kind of contemplating buying one to bring on honeymoon with me because you know when um, you're in the sun, your skin kind of gets, it, the moisture gets sucked out of it. And I think this will be brilliant for putting moisture back in. So it is the Dove Deeply Nourishing Body Wash. <laughs> Another item that I have reviewed this month and since my review, I've actually fallen a little bit more in love with it. And that is the Beauty Blender. I love this. I actually really, really enjoy it. I think in my review, I was kind of comparing it to the Real Techniques um, Miracle Complexion Sponge. And in my opinion, I don't think they can compare. Yes, they do the same job, but I really think that the Beauty Blender does it with so much more finesse. Like, it's so much better. The quality of the sponge, you'll have to excuse me, I did try to wash, but it's a little bit on the dirty side. The quality of the sponge is so much better. It doesn't soak up as much product, and it just really, really bounces the product into your skin. How do I use it? I use it in two ways. And you can use it in a multitude of ways. Like some people use it to actually just apply their foundation. And they apply their foundation solely with this. I personally don't like the coverage that it gives when you do, do it that way. It's a little bit too sheer for me. So what I do is using my Neiman brush, Kabuki brush, I buff in my foundation to the skin. Then I take the beauty blender and I literally just dot it over my face. Oh, it's a bit wet. I <laughs> dot it over my face like that. Oh, did I take down my highlighter? Then, one way that I absolutely love it is when I apply my concealer, which I'm going to talk about next, I kind of hold the sponge a little bit tighter here, and I just, again, bounce underneath my eye. I find that it just gives a little bit more of a flawless finish, and your skin, your complexion looks much, much better. It also makes your makeup last longer, because the key for me, look, I'm not a qualified makeup artist, but I do know a thing or two about makeup. The key for me is having your foundation buffed into your skin. Don't leave it sitting on top because it's going to wear down. Just buff the living daylights out of it. But this is, if you've kind of contemplated it, because if that was me, I was like him and hawing about it for ages. And if you have, just go and buy it. It is, it is worth it. I promise you. I find it really, really good. There, and this is one I cannot live without. It is the Maybelline eraser. It's the dark circle eraser. And it is just so good. I have used it recently in a video to remove dark circles which again I'll try and include somewhere around here somewhere and if not I'll put it down below. And basically how I use this is I apply this underneath my eye in a triangle and then I take my beauty blender and I bounce it into the skin and then I will apply another concealer just into my very very dark parts here because I have quite dark circles. But I find this is just so good. It's, it's about 12 euro. They are hard to get your hands on on the Maybelline counters because they're so good. They sell out like. And I know a lot of bloggers have blogged about it. And I am somebody who tends to avoid hype. If a product is hyped, I just won't go near it. I'll take let the hype kind of die down and then I'll go with it. But this is one that's really, really worth the hype. I promise you it is just that good. So my next product is the Bioderma Micellar Water. Holy Mother of Divine Lord. This is brilliant. Now, I am so lazy. Now, I mean beyond lazy when it comes to taking my makeup off. If makeup didn't stain your pillows when you're asleep, I probably would go to bed with it. Like, the Micellar Water is so quick to take your makeup off. So what I do is I have three cotton pads and I soak them with this. One for the, the this side, one for this side, and one for going all over to make sure I have everything off. Your skin is spanking clean. Now I mean spanking. It feels so clean and so, so soft after using. Only downside to this is it does contain oil. So I am getting my eyelash extensions with Zola 
and malahide put on this week and I will have to stop using this around the eye area and go back to an oil free makeup remover but this is so good I have 250 mils and how much it is I can't remember exactly I'll link it down below somewhere but I think it's about 12.50 or 13 euro for a full one and you can get them in Lloyd's pharmacies and a few other pharmacies around the country so the people at Body Shop Ireland have given me a number of products from their Virgin Mojito line just to give to you guys, just for following the beautiful truth and for listening to my ramblings and for putting up with me because you know what, you do put up with me, sometimes I'm a hindrance. Anyway, they have given me a range of products for you guys. There is a Virgin Mojito body scrub. It's with lime and mint extracts. This is gorgeous. I have used this myself. They have the Virgin Mojito body butter. It smells... Oh my god. Oh my god. That smells delicious. It's so fresh. It is exactly what you need for kind of a muggy day. Um, there is the Virgin Mojito body splash. Not 100% sure what a body splash is, but I presume it's kind of like a fragrance. Mmm. I hate when YouTubers do that and yes, here I am doing it. And there is a body sorbet too from the Virgin Mojito line. To enter you have to do three things, like only three things. I'm not going to over complicate this. First off, you have to be subscribed to The Beautiful Truth. Second off, you have to leave a comment down below in the comment section, section telling me the type of videos you guys like to see on YouTube because I am going to record more and I want to kind of give you what you want. And finally, you have to go over to the Beautiful Truth Facebook page, which I will link down below. And on the page wall, on the wall, you have to post, I've entered the Beautiful Truth and the Body Shop giveaway, and you have to tag a friend in it. That's it. I will be announcing the winner at the end of July, and then I will get all of these, like all of these goodies sent out to you guys, ASAP. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I would love if you could subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.